In this tutorial, we're gonna create this liquid slugs effect, uh, which seems to be quite popular right now. And it's actually very simple. Um, we're gonna use Particular. Okay, so I'm just gonna get started with a fresh scene. I'm gonna go to File, New Project. Uh, I won't save this. Composition, New Composition. Uh, 720p, 25 frames a second. Duration, 99 frames, that's fine. Okay, so the first step is to create a null. Um, instead of using a custom path, I'm just going to animate directly onto the null. So I'm just going to put it over here, hit P to open up position. And I'm just going to move through my animation over here. And I'm just going to move it at different stages of the timeline. And you get a path anyway that you can adjust. And one keyframe over here. Actually, I might just move these back. So I'm just going to hold down Alt and squeeze them in. Maybe one more here. So it kind of goes back up here. Okay. Uh, you can edit this uh, animation path. You can uh, smooth the tangent handles and move them. So in a way, this is a custom path anyway. Okay, so if I just play this back, we have this type of motion. So next we want to create a solid for the particular uh, layer. I'm just going to call it part. And I'm going to go to effect trap code uh, particular. So we want to attach the particular emitter to the null position. So I'm just going to open up emitter. Position XY is what we're interested in. So I'm just going to alt click position XY. And it brings out this pick whip down here. So I'm just going to grab it and just move down here. Oh, and click, uh, not click, just hover over position and let go. That should link it now. Okay, that's good. So we get the standard uh, emitter, it's just emitting uh, spheres, it looks like a kind of uh, asteroid, something like that. So we want to make this look like a solid object, like a blob. And the trick is actually very simple, I'm just going to go to particle, uh, increase the sizes, uh, lower the feathering, sphere feather, and I'm just going to increase the particles per second to about here. Um, so we're still not there, it's still kind of, you can basically see the sphere separating clearly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the velocity properties and set them all to zero. And now we get a nice line. So what we want to do next is a uh, size over life open this up and just taper it off. Um, I'm just going to reduce the life to about here. And I'm just going to increase the size and we're starting to get that blob now. Nice. So you might want to add some shading. So go to shading and turn on shadow lit for main on and we get some kind of nice uh, 3d shading uh, if you want to reduce the opacity go into shadow lit settings reduce the opacity and you don't have to have a black color i mean blue might be more interesting something like that uh, i'm just going to play this back and we get a nice blob effect uh, you might want to play with the scale curve um sorry the size over life this is one of the most important uh, settings. You can have it short or you can have it long and this is kind of linked to um, particle life as well. So we can adjust the length from here. So that's the end of this tutorial. Um, please share it, support the channel and uh, thanks for watching.